Thanks for sharing insights and best practices of BDD. It was quite useful, and I'm keen to try this approach. What programming language and skill sets are required? Getting started with BDD requires some process changes. Even though you don't need any programming skill sets, a basic understanding of example or scenario formation is required, including the role of three amigos. The scenario formation is done by the QA or testers from customer requirements, and based on scenarios, the developers implement the code. As the scenario and code development is done by testers and developers, what is the role of BA or product owner? BA or product owner plays an important role. They are responsible for maintaining shared understanding within the team and bridging the gap between business needs and technical implementations, ensuring everyone comprehends the requirements. Most importantly, they identify business priorities and guide the team to focus on the most important functionalities or features. Amazing! BAs indeed play a vital role along with developers and testers in the BDD software lifecycle. Now, would my current test tool landscape be enough to support the transformation? Some of the current traditional tools don't support BDD Gherkin language and thus, there arises the need for specialized BDD tools. The right BDD tools are important for the right structure and process, and eventually to improve software quality and expedite go-to-market. In summary, to identify the right BDD tool, there are several factors to be considered, such as project requirements, collaboration needs, ease of use, team expertise, integration capability, and language compatibility. In addition, the BDD tool must help with a customer-centric approach and clear communication. With these benefits, it would be on everyone's top radar. Does BDD work for all the projects? The BDD process sometimes requires a certain initial time commitment for proper collaboration between three amigos and to write scenarios. Hence, the team must make this decision on the conditions of BDD implementation in their software development lifecycle. Suppose there's a small project to be delivered, or the deadlines are not flexible enough, or when the team in the software development and testing process are already aware of exact requirements, in such cases, usage of BDD concepts may not be appropriate. It would be helpful if you could tell me when exactly we need to consider BDD concepts of BDD tools. The BDD concepts and tools can only be considered when the team is working on projects such as to develop an application from an abstract notion, to define features and behavior of the system on a high level, to refactor the tests based on code behavior. In addition, BDD practices can be adopted when there's a need to ensure that the efforts of the development team are aligning with the objectives of the business or is set by the product owner. And, in the case of having proper communication between technical and non-technical teams. Interesting. Thank you for sharing the insights on the factors to consider while implementing the BDD process in the software development and testing lifecycle. Can you also share some insights on the BDD tools that help beginners? Well, there are many popular BDD tools available in the market that not only provide a platform for BDD implementation, development, and testing but also enhance our knowledge and best practices to be followed across the concept. But before I can recommend, it is important to understand the requirements of the team and customers. I would rather recommend considering the latest or any existing BDD tools that include the new trends and market requirements, resulting in a faster automation process with a much clearer understanding of the requirements. This helps. Thanks for this recommendation. I will certainly research the available BDD tools that can help to write better scenarios and increase the quality of team collaboration. Do you know that with certain tools, you not only write, but visualize the scenarios graphically as well? The requirements for particular application features can now be graphically represented visually, along with standard Gherkin language and BDD protocols. Wow! This sounds interesting and will make collaboration easier. Tell me more about it. Certain BDD tools help in visualizing the scenarios graphically. These tools represent model flows that provide a clear understanding of the scenarios and can be a good means of common documentation across three amigos. Amazing. I would like to try such tools. Which tools support this feature and where can I access it? Well, Conformic Visualizer supports this feature. 
Let's talk about that in detail next time. Stay tuned for more information and watch out for this space.